Hello family and friends. Welcome to the Hourglass and welcome back to my day one. <laughs> All right, so this is an update on your divine masculine. Your divine masculine could be male or female. It's just an energy. It's the divine masculine. It's very masculine energy, right? This could be past, present, or future events. All my readings or postings is timeless. All right, so what's going on with your DM? Um since this harvest moon this full moon in pisces i definitely feel like a lot of people as a collective are getting very expressive or finding ways to express themselves all right they no longer want to keep this pent-up energy inside some uh, i do feel like a lot of the divine masculines are coming into full of full awareness of the potential of the power that they have in, inside they're now starting to see people places and things for exactly what it is so it's no more denying or denial or trying to control situations anymore it's like the power struggle between the divine masculine um the personal power and the ether is it's coming to it's like a wrap it's like wrapping up but it's not there yet it's like a nine so your divine masculine many of your divine masculine may be at this nine to ten where they are um could be stuck or they may be trapped uh, hmm. I just heard they may be feeling stuck or trapped or very afraid of the unknown. This is very new to them. So let's see what's going on, beloved, with my viewers, Divine Masculine. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we've been having this energy for maybe a week, two weeks. For those divine masculine that resonates, if you're divine, if you're divine masculine that's viewing my video, hi, how you doing? <laughs> so good to hear you and see you here, <laughs> even though I can't see you or hear you, but it's good to have you here. All right, so what I'm getting is you divine masculines, viewer, your divine masculine is tired of the suffering. They're tired of this repetitious cycle of pain and they're now starting to see it. That is because of their own ego, wanting to control situations that they have no control over. They're trying to, okay, so let me put it this way. So your divine masculine has this beautiful formula of success, but he or, he or she is choosing the wrong characters to put in place to make this happen. I do feel for a small group of you, your divine masculine is coming into an awareness that they could only have this success. This formula could only work with their divine feminine. You know, the divine feminines, they have their own personal power going on for them. They're very different. They're very authentic and genuine. A lot of your divine masculines are still trying to break through a lot of paradigms that put people like the divine feminine that has those traits as um, not real. So I know it's, it sounds kind of weird, but a lot of your divine masculines undergo a lot of harsh treatments and conditions in their past and they grew up believing in those conditioning so meeting someone like you you seem type of you seem kind of alienated to them you make them feel very uncomfortable or you rub them the wrong way because they they was never exposed to energy like you all right so they ran from you and ran back into the darkness because that's where they felt comfortable but as you could see now that um comfort zone is very harmful all right and they're now aware of their own personal power again this card has been coming up for for me for the last two weeks a week and a half the divine masculine is now coming in they're now seeing they have witnessed some type of miracle about themselves maybe some type of dream or idea that they had and they actually created that in the physical in the reality and now it opened their eyes to the miracles they're now having faith but they're still stuck. Something is still holding them back. Maybe they're waiting for the right time. Maybe the people that they are attached to, that they want to um, sever ties with, they're very afraid of the outcome with these people. All right? So it's almost like waking up to the fact that I make, made a deal with the devil or I've been sleeping with the enemy for years. It's like waking up to the fact of seeing it for what it is and now having to prepare themselves on how they could maneuver themselves out of this situation in a safe and um calm manner is what i'm getting 
Beloved, what's going on? Okay, so I don't want to take that one. Beloved, what's going on? All right. So they're definitely still feeling romant romantic. All right. So for a large part of you, for those divine feminines that decided to um, close things off or detach for the moment from their divine masculine, I'm still feeling like this person still feels that romantic energy with you. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So your divine masculine is coming into awareness that his divine feminine, you know, no matter what you guys went through, you know, the no contact gets longer and longer or, you know, less talking is like no matter what happens or where you guys go or who you guys see, these romantic feelings are still there. It's still lit. You know, I feel like this divine masculine, they fantasize about you a lot. All right. And it's, it's now feeling like they want to be more adventurous. It's like they feel there's a new beginning here. So they may have freed themselves from a lot of things that was suppressing them, that was destructive, that was very harmful to their inner selves. And now that they have this ending, um, I feel like they want to open a new cycle with you. It's like they want to go into a new adventure, a new beginning with you. They want to reach out. They want to expand with you. But something here is stopping them. Maybe they're still in their linear thinking and it's stopping them from coming forward. All right. You just seem to have a way where it, they just feel more free with you. Things are less complicated when they're with you, divine feminine. Let's see what's on the bottom. So what's crowned in is the codependency. So that's what it is that's holding them captive still. I feel like... Um, you know, addictions may be the issues because we have addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person, your divine masculine, male or female, they may have addictions where they're still holding on to. And this is because they have, you know, they may not feel like they're worthy to do things on their own or they may be incapable of doing a lot of things on their own. So they're still holding on to people that feed this codependency. Um, they could actually have a codependency on this connection on you, divine feminine, where they're very, um, relying on your approval or the way that you think about them. This could be what's holding them back from coming forward to you, not knowing how you view them or how you feel about them. And, you know, I think that that's what it is. They're very codependent on I definitely feel like it's sex though. So they may be a person that's very sexual. They may have had um, something happen to them where somebody violated them sexually as an adolescent or growing up. And this may be what's fueling this sexual addiction where they just want to have sex, but it's not the sex that they're looking for. They want to be fonded over. They want the attention that comes along with the sex. So, you know, I definitely feel for some divine masculines, when you're, when you have conquered, when you have conquered your, your, this sexual um, experience, I feel immediately after that, you feel broken. You feel hurt. Oh my. For a lot of the divine masculines, they're, they have a misconception on the sex part. They're really wanting intimacy. They want to share their feelings. They want to be hold. Again, they want to be fond of after. They want to be comforted. And that comes with the process of having sex. But it's almost like they rush into these um, experiences just to have like the friction part, the sex part, but it, it lacks the intimacy and it causes brokenness and it almost like they relive some type of past violation. So it's like a cycle here where they may be hurting themselves and they now know that they have to free themselves with this harvest moon. Let's get some emotions on how your divine masculines may be feeling. So they're born. That immediately came out. So again, they're in a cycle where they're repeating. This could also be a trigger from a childhood. Maybe your divine masculine, male or female, was molested or um, they was just taught about sex. Or maybe this divine masculine 
They only know how to pursue sexual relationships where it's just sexually based. They have no idea how to pursue an intimate relationship where it's you have to be your true self. You have to tr show your true souls. So they're codependent on some misconceptions um, of how they were taught. All right. This uh, masculine could be taught that you have to be gifted or showered with gifts. And this is how this is how we show that we love each other. And it's a misconception because without that, it's like it's no love. So without these gifts, you don't love me. Really? Really, really? So they're born. They're uninterested with what's going on with them. They may also feel jaded because of the past hurts. And it's hard to free themselves from this cycle because of this jaded, how they look at themselves as tarnished. All right. So they may be watching the time, trying to figure out when is this going to be and when is the good times going to come in. But it's almost like they're missing that piece of the formula where they have to make life they have to make it how they need it to be made or life is what you make it. But again, if you don't know better, you cannot do better. All right. <laughs> All right. So this card relieves came up a lot last night when I was doing um, personal readings. Now, for what I'm getting for this um, session is that your divine masculine may want you to rescue them. Um, they don't, they feel protected. <sighs> hmm. Okay. So they're waiting for you to come back in their life to rescue them from some type of, um, trap mentality. So they may be in their logic right now and you may have this habit of coming back to them or checking up on them. So it's almost like they're waiting for that, for that to come in or they're waiting for you to come back in to do that. It's like, Hmm. <laughs> so for some of you, your divine masculine, how they may come in, they might tell you some type of sad story. And because they know your nature is very protective or very um, reassuring, you like to put people at ease. It's like they may have tried that before when they came into some type of sad story. Oh, I lost my job or I got in an accident. Or I almost lost my life. And then you come in like, oh, my God, is everything OK? They like that. They're very codependent on that protective energy, that nurturing energy that you have. And they're bored. They're bored without you, but they're keeping themselves stuck wherever they at because of codependency. Maybe they have a living situation with some type of karmic, with karmic energy, with a soulmate. They may also be in a relationship with a soulmate and it just lost its oomph or its spark. And they're very codependent. So they have like a more sibling relationship to it. <laughs> yeah. So for many of you that you know that it's not a third party in that way, this um, divine masculine could be a codependency on shopping. Maybe they like to eat. Maybe they like to travel. Maybe they have this escapism um, trait about themselves where they always have to travel. They never stay in one place for too long. And that's another trauma-based response. When you cannot stay, it's like as soon as things get too comfortable or familiar, you have to dip. You have to keep going. And that's another sign of trauma as well. They never plant. They never settle. All right. And that could be another codependency that's keeping them away from exploring these feelings that they still have for you. But I definitely feel like they want a new adventure. I definitely feel like um, they want you to come and rescue them. All right. They want you to come and rescue them from their own mental anguish as well. So we have no. And what I'm getting here is um, from spirit, from source. It's telling you, no, this person has to be confident. Your divine masculine, divine masculine. <laughs> source says you need to be confident and take a leap of faith. This codependency is a no, no. All right. This codependency issues that's going on. Remember, we all have that too. So if, you, if you're going through that, your divine feminine may have similar codependency going on as well. And it's a no-no. This is the blocks. This is what's going to keep you trapped from exploring these feelings that you're having. It's time to be more self-assured. So we have reassured, hey, so it's like you're codependent on the divine feminine's approval of you when you should be feeling confident of the feelings that you're feeling inside of yourself it's real 
You don't need your divine feminine to constantly reassure you or support you or approve the feelings that you are feeling. No. All right. It's time to close that out, you guys. It's time to look at that. The, the fence is not even high enough to keep that unicorn trapped. Divine masculine, you're willingly keeping yourself away from your divine feminine because she's not coming in with this rescue um, energy or she's not checking on you. So you automatically feel like you're not it. You're not the one. You're, you're, not, you're not worthy when it's not true. Free yourself from your own mental anguish, from your own mental slavery. You know that song by um, Bamali? Okay then. <laughs> the, it completely slipped my mind, but I could hear his voice. None but ourselves could free ourselves, right? You have to be confident, baby. It's time to step it up. Be bold. This is why your divine feminine fell for you in the first place, because you was very bold. You were very courageous. You showed her that side of you before. And it's like, you need to bring that out. These feelings that you're feeling right now about your divine feminine, it could be five days, five weeks, five years, five months. The feelings are still there and it's real. And it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to set it's time for you to open this new adventure, this new wave, this new cycle with your divine feminine. Reach out. Say hi. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it, it's very uncomfortable. You're being vulnerable, but you, you can't look at it as something that's negative because it's uncomfortable. It just means that you're breaking out of your comfort zone. It hurts, doesn't it? So imagine your divine feminine that constantly breaks out of comfort zone to go forward. And a lot of the divine masculines, they get very uh, annoyed and envious that it's somebody else that's um, igniting the divine feminine's passion. It's really not. She is doing that for herself. She or, she or he is doing that for themselves. It's nobody else that's giving the divine feminine any reassurance. She, she or he is honing in that, her, their own personal power and doing that. It's nobody else. So the divine masculines that have this misconception of have, needing others' approval to be bold, to be confident, this is what's trapping you. This is what's stopping you. You're wasting time. You are wasting time being codependent on approval to make a first move or to, to come out or to be yourself. I hope you don't um, implement that misconception to your job because it's like the same thing. You created this beautiful masterpiece and because you are so afraid of others' approval, you don't share it. You don't share your gifts with the world. So you, you, pen, this, you have this pent-up gift, this pent-up skill, this pent-up um, power trapped in you, causing you illnesses, causing you to see things wrong, causing brain fogs, causing you to lose time, causing you to be uninterested because of others' approval. Come on now. You guys, the divine feminine is not only powerful, it's in you too. And it's time for you to show it. It's time for you to know that you bring joy too. It's time for you to know that your instincts, your love is God is godlike. It's time for you to show. And whoever laughs and whoever tries to shut you down, know that they're put in place to stop you. And it's not going to stop you this time, right? Let's see what's under the bottom of the deck. Overwhelmed. All right. Again, I do feel like this divine masculine that I'm channeling, they feel very burdened to reach out to you, divine feminine. All right. Maybe um, you blocked them. Maybe you said some very harsh or harmful words that kind of bruised this divine masculine's ego, but they cannot deny the feelings and the divine feminine cannot deny her feelings also. But there's a lot of resentment here and I feel like the divine masculine still wants to be rescued. Hello, you have to rescue the divine feminine too. That's not always her job. It's a give and take hey. It's supposed to be a balance. And with this type of energy or thinking, you're causing an imbalance in the connection. So if you're really sure that the feelings... No, let me, let me restate that. You need to be sure 
Because the feelings that you're feeling is real and you know it. But you're putting all types of distractions in a way that's wasting your time and it's burdening you. So you're causing this self-sabotage. You, it's like you want to be great, but you're afraid to make a mistake. That's what this journey is about. The divine feminine changes her outlook on you when you decide to be afraid, when you decide to push away the truth. That's when her image of you changes, when you're being kind of like, unrealistic about yourself you may think that you're being realistic but you're really not you're living in some type of illusion that's not real it's like you're self-medicating and you're not sick this is your confirmation to stop stop this because you it's like you're burdening yourself it's like It's like you're burdening yourself. You have so much time, but you're, you're putting time into things that's poisoning you, that's slowing you down, that's causing illness. And then you turn around and want to be rescued. And then you go into some type of resentment when the divine feminine decides to move on. Because it's like a trick. It's like a trap. Are you trying to trap her in the same type of mental anguish? Is that love? Is that, is that how you show that you love your divine feminine? By trapping her inside of a mental turmoil? Come on now. Show the world who you are. Be bold. You know what to do. But you're burning yourself with other things. That's clouding your judgment. That's putting you back in a trap. That's lowering your own personal power. I could see here that you want that new beginning. You want to offer this, this fruit of love. You want to do things. But you're piling, you're getting distracted. And it's a lot of senseless uh, lessons you're going back to. It's like you, it's like you are putting, it's like, oh my. <laughs> oh my, divine masculine. You're, put, you're putting yourself five steps back. You're causing yourselves a lot of setbacks. All right? And then I feel like you try to blame your divine feminine or try to say that she's moving on and you tried, but what, what do you consider trying? How did you try? How did you try? Do what you feel. Honor your feelings, divine masculine, because it's real. It's real. I don't know if you had your divine feminine... Or you've been sexual with her. Or you've been intimate. Maybe you guys kiss. And it's like you can't forget the feeling. And it's because it was real. And you need to free yourself. This divine masculine could have an R, an E, or an A in their name. It doesn't have to be. That's just what I'm picking up. Stop overburdening yourself with senseless things. It's all an illusion. You're pushing yourself away. You're pushing your divine feminine away and you're pushing yourself back in some type of karmic cycle and wants to be rescued. You got to cut that victim mentality out. All right? It's going to cause a lot of suffering. You're going to continue to suffer. You're going to bring a lot of bad karma on yourself because you're giving in to your demons. So I'm going to use some cards from my personal deck. This is not for sale. It's just a tool to help me get some more details. It's just for my personal use. <laughs> so what we have here, free yourself. What exactly does this divine masculine want to share with us divine feminine about freeing himself? I don't see the light. Unaware and pessimistic, lazy, lost, and in denial. Again, how could you want great stuff and not put in the work? You cannot finesse yourself through the ethers or the universe. What is going to happen is things are going to be put in place to cause more suffering. You are the light, baby. It's no light to look for. You are the light. You are this mystical being with all of this confidence and power. And it's time for you to be bold. It's time for you to go after the things that you deserve. 
Stop burning yourself with a lot of senseless activities and lessons. Stop pushing yourself to go back into cycles because it feels familiar. You are hurting yourself. You are dimming your own light, divine masculine. And now, as a a result, it's like you're uninterested in life. You lost your spark in life because your divine feminine decides to not rescue you. What about when she needs to be rescued? Where are you when your divine feminine needs to be rescued or helped or assist? You abandon her because you abandon him or her because you abandon the f- divine feminine within yourself. This is the divine feminine within yourself, divine masculine, your emotions, your feelings, that nurturing attitude, that unconditional love for self. That is your divine feminine within yourself. So if you're neglecting your divine feminine outside of yourself, you are doing it to yourself also. Let's get one more card from the middle. Cleaning up, stepping up, detox, rebirth, leveling up, cleanse, new beginning, refresh. So this is what you need to do to break out of this spell, this illusion that you have yourself into. You need to clean up your act. You need to detox from a lot of these addictions, these codependency addictions. Look it up. It's anything that you're doing too much that's causing a wedge in in your potential, in your happiness, in your peace, in your serenity. All right? It's time for a new beginning. It's time to close out what's been holding you back. It's time to give yourself a rebirth. It's time to kill that old part of you. All right? Let's see. Let's move on to the romantic feelings. What does this divine masculine want to tell the divine feminine? What does he want to share? I've been busy lately, but I'm thinking of you. Yes, divine masculine, we know that. We could feel that. (laughs) We could feel all of that sexual charge. But what is it worth if you're not coming correctly? Why Why do you so want to repeat this cycle of pain? What are you gaining from that? What are you gaining from repeating these senseless cycles? You know the feelings are real. You hear her name, he or she name. You, you see the number. You see the address. Many things in your, in your reality are reminding you of your divine feminine. Many things that's happening to you are reminding you to nurture the divine feminine within yourself. You keep neglecting to, de- to nurture that part of yourself. And therefore, you keep neglecting your, your divine feminine that's outside of you. What are you busy doing? Are you busy cleaning up your act? Are you busy giving yourself a new beginning? Are you busy tapping into your true potential? What are you busy doing? Because it looks like a whole bunch of um, nothing. And it's making you very imbalanced and bored and jaded and unfulfilled. And it's like you have all of this going on for you and it's still not enough. And that's, that should be a, a major red flag for you. That should be a wake-up call for you. One more card. Middle of the deck. Envy. What's going on? What's going on? So what I'm picking up here, a lot of the divine masculines may be very envious of his divine feminine's confidence, her boldness, her ability to have self-reassurance. What, what's the envy about? What are you so envious about? I don't get that. Let me get one more card on this, beloved. Why is the divine masculine envious of his divine feminine? Okay. So I picked it up here with the firefighter. I feel the divine masculine. And if you're a divine masculine, please chime in. Please comment and let us know. Where is this envy coming? Where is it coming from? Why is it coming from there? So what I'm getting is... Your divine masculine, divine feminine, they're suffering. We see that in the free yourself with the unicorn bleeding. They're suffering. They feel very lost without you and helpless. For many of the divine masculine, you divine feminine, you bring a sense of guidance and hope. And when you're not in communication, the light goes out. And that's because nobody taught your divine masculine to believe in himself. He was always taught to be something that he's not by society, by religious um, confirming 
and all of that stuff. Anyway, I don't want to go too deep in that. Anyway, it says, can we start over? A clean slate. The silence is killing me. So Divine Feminine, um, you know, I, I definitely feel like because your Divine Masculine has done a lot of shady nonsense, he definitely feels like this is his karma or you're going to do the same thing back to him take it don't take it personal that's just the way that they perceive things this divine masculine is very lonely and bored without your light now a lot of you need to use your discernment divine masculine you need to get ready for any kind of conversation that may trigger you with your divine feminine you have to learn to take criticism from your divine feminine as um a way of her telling you what needs to be looked at. Get out of your, your lower energies of feeling envious or feeling like she's some type of, I don't know, I just feel like there's some type of superior complex going on here. I don't know what I'm getting that from. Or somebody feels inferior, infuriated. I don't know where I'm getting that from. But I'm seeing that your divine masculine needs your assistance, right? But they have resentments because you decided not to put up with their nonsense. And it's kind of selfish. This is kind of a selfish energy that they want to have their cake and eat it too. So they want to live like this toxic life, but still have this beautiful angel in their hell. It's not going to work that way. You, it's like you want to sabotage the divine feminine also, divine masculine. I do feel like this divine masculine is very overwhelmed and burdened to reach out. They do not know how to talk to you, divine feminine, because you have changed and you have blossomed so beautifully. And they're still stuck in some type of toxic misconception of themselves, of life, of love. I would say from personal bottom of the deck, I hurt myself when I walked away. We know that divine masculine. We are very aware of that. We could feel it. You have hurt us too. You have disappointed us too. But we still got up and did what we have to do. It's a huge misconception here with a lot of masculines feeling like the feminine should take care of everything. That's not how it works, you guys. You are putting a lot of burden on the divine feminines that have, have been chosen for you. You have chosen, the, the both of you have chosen each other. To work together. You cannot have this misconception. And believe that things is going to become beautiful. You can't make shit into a beautiful um, masterpiece. You know you cannot tr you can't throw glitter on shit and call it gold. What it's, It still stinks. Shit, shit is stinks. And that's what's going on. This is stinks. Divine masculine. We know that you're suffering. But you're suffering so you could move on. So you could heal and move on and be better. We're not doing this to spite you. All right? We are not doing this so we could teach you a lesson. No. You taught us a lesson to love ourselves more because we was overcompensating or overgiving to you. So you taught us to love ourselves more. And this is why we are moving forward. But yet you envy when you thought when you taught us to love ourselves more because of the the um shady behavior the deceit that you was pouring into our cup so reach out divine masculine be bold stop all this nonsense with overburdening yourself with codependency and a lot uh, a lot of n senseless karmic lessons and cycles be bold Grab your dick up and be bold or pussy up if you're a, a, a divine masculine female. Face yourself. And facing yourself is facing your divine feminine within yourself. You are me and I am you. Right? So if you did enjoy that content, please like, subscribe, and share. If you guys are interested in a personal reading... All the info is in the description box below. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And chat to you later. Ciao.